This right here is a fun little static equilibrium problem, and I'm going to give you one of these forces, and you'll have to find that force and that force. Now, the center of this thing is this knot right here, three forces acting. It's vertical in a vertical plane, pretty much, and all three of those things add up to zero, and using your best trigonometry and knot calculus, you'll be able to solve this problem for that tension and that mass. Let's learn physics. And look, people, this is a video, so stop it and solve it. Don't just watch it all the way through. I used my protractor and put this thing like that and measured this big fat angle and put this thing like that, measured that big fat angle. Now we're going to draw the free body diagram. Why measure with respect to this? Because that hopefully represents a vertical line. This thing is the weight, so it's hanging in the vertical plane like vertical, vertical. And then you measure those two angles, you should be able to set up a free body diagram to solve this problem. And the center of this problem is the free body diagram. There will be no equations, there will be none, none, none of that stuff. We're just going to solve the problem by drawing a really good free body diagram. Again, the free body diagram showing one object, that knot, and all the forces acting on it. So force in that direction, pulling it that way, even though there's a force pulling that attachment point down in this direction here, and there's a force pulling, the, no, 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 just the forces acting on that knot, that direction, that direction, and that direction. Draw that free body diagram, uh, set up the X and Y components, and then use some basic calculus trigonometry and some looking at it and figure it out to solve the problem. Here we go. As you already know from playing on the jumble, jumble gym, the jungle gym, in your experience, if you were to hang yourself by these two arms right here, this arm is going to have a larger tension, so we expect this force to be larger than the red on the scale 5 newtons. So we draw this thing longer and that thing shorter because we know that the x component and the x component should be about the same size. So this thing right here and that thing right there, they're going to balance each other because we only have two forces that are acting in these two directions, and so those two have to balance. Make sure that this thing is visually balanced, then you can lead yourself more to the correct answer. So here's the free body diagram, what we have so far. Five newtons, 38 degrees, because, well, 90, this is vertical, 128 minus 90 gives you 38 degrees, and this is vertical, so, 149 minus 90 gives you 59 degrees. This is closer to the vertical, that's closer to the horizontal. This is the short leg, that's the long leg. This is the short leg, that's the long leg. And I know that all I have to do in the calculator is go five cosine 38, enter, and five sine 38, enter, and put the proper values in there. Then I know that this is gonna balance that. You just look at the thing, you're like, oh, the two X's just balance each other. Because once I have these two components, what am I gonna do with that five? I just ignore the five. And then I just take those two, and then I just try to balance it, and then figure stuff out. We'll do that. So I've done the five cosine 38 to get the 3.94, and the five sine 38 to get the 3.08. Then I can just show the balance, because the X is balanced, 3.94. Newtons is that X component. And then if I'm tricky and I remember that the hypotenuse times the cosine of that angle is going to be the, this X leg, well then all I have to do is take the 3.94 and divide. It's the opposite operation, right? Divided by the, the, the cosine, cosine. Divided by the cosine of 50, not 59 equals 7.65. This would be 7.65 newtons. And then 7.65 times the times the sine of 59 degrees gives you 6.56. 6.56 newtons. So I'm almost done. Oh, okay. So now that I have the 7.65, which is an answer, I'm going to ignore that and then just pay attention to the 6.56 and the 3.08 because that's going to have to balance this weight down here. W equals, and then uh, three, the up and the up, those two ups, right? 3.08 plus 6.56 equals 9.64. 9.64 newtons. And that 9.64 newtons, W equals mg. This is real. So uh, this 9.64 divided by, divided by 9.8 gives you 
0.984 newtons. 0.984 newtons is the mass. Let's take a look at the error. That the tension, this diagonal right here, was uh, calculated to be 7.65 newtons. I actually measured from this scale 8 newtons, and uh, that's about a 4.5% error. I wasn't perfect on the angles. This thing is actually like frictioning on this board, so whatever, not a big deal. And then this one down here, this is 0.984 newtons compared to what I hope to still be a one kilogram mass. It's old, probably at least as old as me, so like 20 years. And then that, that thing right there should be like one kilogram. Well, 0.16, that, that's a 1.6% error on this one. 4.5% error on that one. This system works. Set it up like that. Use this thing as the, the free body diagram as the center of your problem. It makes these problems nice and easy to solve for even the pretty advanced honors students for the most part. And uh, you're really super visual. And then toss some things into the, uh, into, the, into the calculator. And that's all you need. Calculations right here, 5 cosine 38, 5 sine 38. Cosine is the adjacent over the hypotenuse, the x over the hypotenuse. So 5 cosine 38, 5 sine 38. And then once you get this 3.94, quick math review, of course, is what this is. 3.94 divided by the cosine of 59 degrees. And then take the hypotenuse and multiply that by the sine of 59 degrees to get that value. The two ups, balance the down, and you're good. This is quick. It's a fast method. Doesn't require multiple equations. Like here's the x equation, here's the y equation. We've got the t cosine 59, the t sine 59, using a whole bunch of symbols. It just, it, get, it gets this style of problem done pretty quickly. Gives you real numbers nice and fast with some quick use, quick and judicious use of the calculator. Thanks for watching Learn Physics, and thanks for that thumbs up too, really helps a lot. New videos most academic weeks, subscribe for more. I've even got Education Ideas, Freaky Physics Friday, and Tech Tip Tuesday. And for bicycles, motorcycles, and family adventures, it's my other channel, Bike Physics. You just learned physics.